What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Chef, Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, babe? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're we new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're, we're on the road to 100 K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. How can such a society be called civilized? Uh -oh. If those appalling conditions don't change, that prison will explode! Perhaps our lone lady member is too fragile to know what is normal in a prison. Oh. Canadians, you know them, you love them, and you probably liberally oh, quote them. Is this normal? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Canadian Heritage Minutes. Is there one design here that the whole committee can agree on? that says Canada. No mistake about it. For this list, we're counting down the best of the best when it comes to these one-minute vignettes, which were all over Canadian television throughout the 90s and early aughts, teaching kids and probably millions of adults a little something about their national heritage, depicting stories of exploration, politics, war, sports, and uh, whatever that was about. These spots were at varying times educational, heartwarming, thought-provoking, and a little goofy. After nearly a decade of downtime, Historica Canada recently started making a new batch of Heritage Minutes, which means it's high time we go into the vault and wax nostalgic about Canada. Men don't wear pistols in Canada. Canada be damned, I'm going to the Klondike. The Klondike is Canada. Mm. Number 10, Jacques Cartier. Our list begins with an epic, as this 60-second reenactment of Jacques Cartier's first encounter with the Iroquoian chief Donnacona plays like a minute out of the mission. Cartier was the man who claimed Canada in the name of France in the 1500s, and here we see how his first interactions with the native peoples might have played out. You could say this Heritage Minute depicts the origin of the name Canada, but we see it more as the Aboriginal people's early encounter with the arrogance and willful ignorance of European explorers and the church. Canada! Uh, Canada! Big, big pardon, sir, but the word he used, I think it really means those houses down there. No, no, believe me, I know the word. It means nation, and Canada is its name. Well, mm. that, and it's a vital moment in the country's history. Okay. But I'm sure it means the houses, the village. Interesting. I love that they started off with the the natives. I love that. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't see this coming. It was a good intro. Yeah, it Way was. Way to pop it off, you feel me? <laughs> kind of Number nine, okay. Superman. Strong, but by day he's a mild-mannered reporter. Glasses, you know, a secret identity. This minute illustrates Canada's favorite national pastime. No, not hockey. It's telling Americans that the things they love are actually Canadian creations. <laughs> Honestly, you Canadian kids. He'd be in this cape. A what? A cape. Superman, the Man of Steel, defender of truth, justice, and the American way, was actually created by Toronto-born illustrator Joe Schuster. He may have had help from Jerry Siegel of Cleveland, Ohio, but no one ever made a Heritage Minute about him. So for all intents and purposes, Superman is Canadian. Just mm. ask any Canuck. They'll tell you so. No one's... <laughs> all right, so y'all got Superman. We must have Captain America. <clears throat> I'm out With of this, the this Star debate. Shield. I'm out of this debate. What's where you in? We have Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Panther. Okay. <laughs> they for Africa. He for Africa. We, we, he is for Africa, Wakanda. Uh, the Hulk. He came, the Hulk probably Canadian too, who knows? Oh, child. I said what I said. Who are we at? Captain America. Okay. And we got a Spidey. We ain't gonna do nothing much oh, damage. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. It'll never fly. In fact, you con. might say that Clark Kent yeah. and his alter ego <laughs> are the epitome of the Canadian stereotype. Humble, mild-mannered, and strong all at the same time. Take it. It's a gift. You never know. It might be worth something someday. Number eight, Laura Secord. In June of 1813, Laura Secord overheard the secret plans of the American soldiers in occupation. Most Canadians today mm -hmm. would tell you that Laura Secord is a famous chocolatier. But clever branding and image co-opting aside, the real historical figure of Laura Secord was a legit war and hero. And she ran back to the two days hence. Ooh, 
During the War of 1812, Secord traveled on foot. But that's, to me, the story in the Bible whenever they sent the woman, to, I think she had to marry a man or something like that. And just to get inclined, like, intel on what they finna do with their mm -hmm. next big move. And mm -hmm. then she dipped. Yeah. And she dipping. She's I already know. The, the Canadians <laughs> gonna talk about the end of this war. I already, well, not man. the end, but I know what y'all gonna say. Look how she looking back, boy. Look, she like, I know what I need to she know. She's on a mission. Yeah, she did her mission. Now she gotta get back there safely. I already know y'all gonna come in the comments talk about, and we burned it down. And we burned it down, <laughs> Lord. Over 20 miles of forbidding terrain to warn Lieutenant James Fitzgibbon and his British forces of an imminent sneak attack by the Americans. Take me to Fitzgibbon. No one knows for sure how she found out about the attack, but her act of patriotism eventually made her a household name in her home country. Also, oh, her chocolates woman. are delicious. Laura Secord delivered her message to the Canadian troops. The Kahnawagi Mohawks forced the surrender of 500 Yankee soldiers and the American invasion was stopped. Number seven, wow. Jackie Robinson. In 1945, baseball's color barrier was crossed when Jackie Robinson was signed by Brooklyn Dodgers general manager Branch Rickey. Hey, Mr. Rickey. Boys, I want you to meet someone. Outstanding athlete, the former second lieutenant in the United States Army, and your new second baseman, Jackie Robinson. Robinson spent the 1946 season playing in Canada with the Dodgers AAA affiliate, the Montreal Royals before he moved up to Major League Baseball the following year, where he faced racism and finally, acceptance. Wait, first Superman and now baseball? These Heritage Minutes mm. sure did run roughshod over Thank America's you. greatest national heroes. Fourth inning. Oh, That's enough. Number six, over, this is the big league. Underground Railroad. At number six is this heart-wrenching Heritage Minute dedicated to the Underground Railroad and the more than 30,000 slaves who escaped covertly to Canada. Talk about Between it, 1840 yep, yep. and 1860, more than 30,000 American slaves came secretly to Canada and freedom. They called it the Underground Railroad. Now, for any non-Canadians out there, you have to keep in mind that if you were a kid watching TV in the early 90s, you'd see this. It's three hours late already. Polly ain't gonna make it! Sandwiched somewhere between this... Rusty? Oh, hi, 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 Rusty, how are you? ...and this. It's National Banana Day! We peel our frowns away! In fact, this is exactly why these Heritage Minutes are seared into the collective unconscious of every Canuck born after 1979. Don't worry, kids. Pa makes it. Let's uh, pa! 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 Number five, orphans. In the 1850s, many Quebec families adopted Irish orphans. These poor kids just lost their parents to ship's fever during an Atlantic crossing from hell. And now the church wants to strip them of their names. Dorénavant, tu porteras le nom fier et historique de Bélanger. Tu es maintenant une petite Canadienne, Molly. No! We have to keep our Irish name. Mon mère me l'a dit juste avant de sa mort. Cheer up, Molly. Being an orphan isn't all bad. Shirley Temple! Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, wait, that's not Shirley Temple. That's another one. Tomorrow. It's okay. It's okay. Plus, you might just find a new home with a nice Quebec family. <laughs> we like this Heritage Minute because it celebrates the little guy. Quel est ton nom, mon enfant? Johnson, sir. Molly Johnson. It pushes aside the founding figures and sports heroes and shines a light on all the anonymous, forgotten individuals that made up Canada at its inception. A century and a half later, many of those names still resound in Quebec. Number four, basketball. Break, break. Most popular sports played today are the product of the multi-century evolution of games played since time immemorial, so but good. not basketball. <laughs> Is this some kind of Canadian joke, sir? I mean, I know you're the instructor and everything, but we can't carry the ball. How can we get a decent shot at the uh, peach basket? <laughs> In 1891, Canada's own James Naismith came up with the 13 foundational rules for the game, something he devised to break up the winter boredom for his phys ed class. Okay. And Canadians have dominated the sport of basketball ever since. Naismith, sir. It sure slows things down having to climb up here every time. <clears throat> okay, that might yeah. not be the case, but <laughs> basketball has become one of the world's most popular sports. That, 
plus the three-pointer mustaches on all the guys, earns this Heritage Minute the number four spot on our list. Basketball was being played by hundreds of millions of people around the world. Number three, Baldwin and La Fontaine. Laissez-nous passer! Nous avons le droit de voter! Lousy rebel! Governor Sydenham said your lot ain't got no rights to not... Oh. Any minute that starts with an angry, torch-wielding mob and a guy getting punched in the face is pretty good television. These wily politicians pulled off what seemed like a miracle when they each overcame linguistic prejudice and were elected as representatives in French and English Canada, respectively. Monsieur Robert Baldwin, il veut que je me présente dans un comté d'Ontario. The story of Robert... Hold up, wait. Did they make a movie about this? Because y'all know I watch historical... Um, movies. Mm -hmm. I feel like I know those names. It's familiar. I mean, I've heard about it before. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you know that these movies. I'm personally me. I'm speaking for myself, and I say this that I will always catch a movie in the middle and never get the name of it. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, that was a good movie, but what was it called? So I can watch right. it again. And I can never right. find it again. Yeah, those those names are familiar. The last names. Yeah. Baldwin and Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine is a key moment in the history of Canada as the two men worked together to create the idea of responsible government and set Canada's foundation as a bilingual country. It may not be the sexiest heritage minute, but these two played an important role in the union of the Canadas. <laughs> and they did make history. Together, Robert Baldwin and Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine would forge the basis of responsible government in Canada. Number two. Halifax oh, explosion. Wow, Thank God she's a half a mile away, huh? She's loaded, boys! You gotta get out of here! It's full of explosives! All jokes aside, this Heritage Minute is one tightly wound little thriller, and may be the most effective of all the minutes. The train. What? People, get out of here! It's gonna blow up! Vince Coleman was just a common train dispatcher when he gave his own life to save 700 others wow. from the worst man-made explosion in history prior to the atomic bomb. Come on! There are 700 people aboard and I've got to stop it! Come on, come on! This minute is a testament to the power of economic storytelling, the sort that runs throughout the very best heritage minutes. Halifax was devastated. 9,000 wounded, 2,000 dead, including Vince Coleman. Dispatcher. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, Daddy! Let's call him Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Winnie Pooh, cool. okay. I don't know. Just Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Fish is enough to feed this kingdom. Oh, sire. Until the end of time. They say there is one dead Chinese man for every mile of the track. My friend Jenny Trout was not the only woman to face this kind of thing in medical school, but she would become the first woman licensed to practice medicine in Canada. Mm. Pack those pistols in your saddlebags or get back to U.S. territory. I'm an American. You can't do this to me. <laughs> in that case, I'll be lenient. We'll keep this gambling gear and you'll be back in the United States by sundown. Jacques Plant of the Montreal Canadiens broke with tradition. You're a brave man, Mr. Plant, standing up to him like that. And changed the face of hockey forever. Number one, Wilder Penfield. Toast is burning. Toast is not. In putting together our list of the top 10 heritage minutes, there was never a doubt which one would take home the top honors. This tribute to the revolutionary neurosurgeon Wilder Penfield coined a national catchphrase. Burnt toast. Dr. Penfield, I can smell burnt toast. I smell burnt toast is as pervasive in the Canadian lexicon today as it was when these spots were running regularly on TV. All the humor, nostalgia, and warm feeling that characterize this series can be found in this one-minute masterpiece. For those reasons, it's the definitive Heritage Minute. They say he drew the roadmap of the human brain. We just called him the greatest Canadian alive. Mm. Do you agree with our choices? What other Heritage Minutes should we have put on this list? For 
I'm pretty sure there's ones. many, man. Um, but these are some dope ones. And yeah. some of these we have saw already too, by the way. Yeah. But it's not nothing wrong with seeing it again. 100. Yeah. percent We learned some things today. Mm -hmm. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.